All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. Today we have the flagship, the big kahuna, the king of the sedans when it comes to the Mercedes-Benz product line. Now, a lot of reviews have been done on this car, even in this country. But we're gonna review this car differently. We're gonna review it the way it's supposed to be reviewed, okay? We don't wear any gloves. So this is the 2021 S500. It has a three liter inline six turbocharged engine that cranks out 429 horsepower. Now, you know, guys, Pasenjana, if I'm speaking mostly in English, because we do serve an international market and a lot of our viewers are complaining, they cannot understand what the hell I'm talking about. So, now we will do it in full English. So, kung gusto nyo tagalogin ko, i-PM nyo na lang ako. So, anyway, this is a 2021, the new generation S-Class. Now, Mercedes, in all their infinite wisdom, has always been synonymous to luxury. Comparing to the BMW mark, the Mercedes-Benz mark has always been a luxury vehicle. Now, when AMG took over their motorsport division, that's when things started to turn. BMW has always had the M Sport, which is the M cars. Now, when AMG, which was the former aftermarket tuner for Mercedes, just like Brabus, was absorbed or purchased by Mercedes, pieces of art came out and the styling, the performance, the engine, braking, suspension, everything clicked. So this is the seventh generation S-Class. Now, like I said, it only has a three liter engine, but because of the tireless research of Mercedes's F1 team and their tireless research when it comes to performance with AMG, with a collaboration with other car manufacturers, they're able to crank out over 400 horses on a V6 turbocharged engine and still maintain its reliability and its sanity. As you can see when we test drive the car, it's absolute luxury. Now, I've driven all the other sedans before. I've driven the Bentleys, the Rolls Royces, the BMWs, the Astons, what else? Uh, obviously you have the Toyota Century, which is made in Japan, but nothing compares to a German car. Now, why do I say that? Germans have a different way of designing vehicles. They aim for simplicity. But with that simplicity comes a sleeping beast. Look at the lines of this vehicle. Most Mercedes-Benz vehicles are very simply carved. Now, this one comes with a 21-inch AMG wheel, which is, like I said, styled by AMG. Lightweight, nimble enough to take corners and nimble enough to give you the performance you need. If you look around the vehicle, it's absolutely simple. For someone who doesn't know the car and tries to open it, they have no idea how to open the car, but one simple press of a button, it unlocks and reveals this beautiful handle. And of course, they don't forget to tell you that it's a Mercedes-Benz. When you lock it, it comes, goes back in. Now, like I said, with any Mercedes vehicle, function follows form. This car actually has dual exhausts, not just a dual garnish. If you look inside, they have exhaust pipes. So the functionality still holds true. Guys, another great feature of this S-Class is the headlight. This headlight is a work of art, why? It has 1.3 million mirrors that helps 
direct the light where the car wants it to go. When you're turning left, when you're turning right, it actually tells the headlight to steer the light so that the driver won't have a problem seeing what it needs to see. All right, guys, another feature of this car is four-wheel steering. Look at the wheel, look at the back wheel turn. So basically, when the car, when the car turns, the rear wheel goes against the front wheels to reduce the turning radius of the vehicle. So, kahit malaki yung koche, it has the turning radius of a Twizy, of a Renault Twizy. Actually, hindi Renault Twizy, parang turning radius ng Vios. Pag tumatakbo siya na mabilis, it actually follows the front wheel so that it can change lanes rather fast. So that's the beauty of four-wheel steering on this car. Let's go inside, guys. Look at this gorgeous interior. Start the car. Can't even hear the engine. Okay, let's turn on the AC because it's really hot. Start system. Compared to the previous generation S-Class, this vehicle is laid out perfectly. You have your, I mean, this is what really, really gets me. This absolutely amazing touchscreen infotainment display. It has every single function you need. It even has this 3D, 3D feature that when you actually press it, it just seems like the, it seems like a three-dimensional panel, but it's not, it's just a regular panel. So Mercedes has done so well with this car that they've packed all the advanced features. Your comfort, this is, this is probably one of the things that I love the most. You're driving around tired because you've been driving around sitting in traffic. You have 10 different massage functions from hot relaxing back because you've been driving in Edsa traffic for the last three hours, hot relaxing shoulders, just because you're, you're so used to your wife massaging your shoulders. So you have that caress of a German seat in this car. Mobilizing massage to kind of wake you up, activating massage. If you're, try, if you're starting to get cramps, you have a classic massage. You have the wave massage, which is, you know, if anybody has those Okada massage seats, you know, there's a wave type of uh, movement on the massage. You have deep workout. You have all these 10 different functions on this car. So you can massage your body any which way. When you talk about motors, there's no more car that's more advanced than the new S-Class. Now, there's 20 different motors just for the vents. I mean, look at all these digital functions. You can actually lower or raise the level of wind the air conditioning has. So the vents, it has 20 different motors to, co to control the flaps. Now, for the seats, you have 19 different motors to adjust the seats. You have nine different motors for the adjustments. So this is what it is. So every time you press, actually it's a soft touch button, it's very easy to press. Every single time you press, one of the nine motors activates. You have one motor for the lumbar for each seat. You have four different motors for the massage. You have five different motors for the vents inside the seat so that when you activate the ventilated seats, you have no problems. And you have 16,000 holes 
in this perforated leather seat. Just imagine the level of detail this car has that no other car can actually compare with. Okay, now you have this example pasahan, so you can actually, you know, wipe it down if you want, because my suggestion for people who will actually buy this car, put a plastic cover, which the owners of this vehicle already did, because this actually scratches very easily. If you notice, this, even the dashboard already has the plastic PPF cover. So, you know, just wipe it down. So here you have two USB ports. Here you have your cup holder and you have your wireless charging port for any cell phone that has wireless charging. Okay. So let's take a look at the uh, infotainment system. Now, another beautiful thing about this car, other than the fact that it has parking sensors the car actually parks itself. You have your cameras, you have a 360 camera, you have a rear image camera, and you actually have the self-parking feature in this car. The level of detail that they put into this car is absolutely crazy. The right door is actually open, so it tells you that the right door is open. When you hit your turn signal, even the view on the on the on the signal light is flashing another cool thing is when you turn the steering wheel it actually moves with you so it has all the dynamic features that you need in a car obviously we won't even talk about the sound system it has the 20 speaker burmeister sound system with the immersive sound and everything that you need. You don't even need to bring it to a stereo shop anymore to have it upgraded because the car is absolutely perfect. Now the steering wheel, all the functions you already have. It has the 3D um, instrument cluster. You have every single safety feature that you need. Just in case you decide to, to, to meddle with your cell phone while driving and suddenly a kid runs across the street the car will actually break by itself there are sensors in the front there are sensors in the back that will help you from getting into an accident it also has lane departure alert it tells you when you're veering off road if you're veering to another lane and you're falling asleep and you're doing certain things that you're not supposed to do the car is so intelligent that it tells you what to do and what not to do so other than the luxurious features on this car we will take it out on a test drive and this time the way we will test drive the car is by us sitting the way it's supposed to be sat in the back so guys like i promised you we will be test driving this car the way it's supposed to be test driven you know why because nobody will buy this car sitting in front especially in this country, dito sa Pilipinas. Siga, tagalogin ko na eh, no? Dito sa Pilipinas, halos lahat ng bibili nito, mga boss. So, they will never sit in front unless they drive the car, which is very rare. Normally, may driver sila. So, say hi to our boy, Arthur. Yan, namimiss na nila yan. Yan, yan, pakita mo si Arthur. Yan, namimiss na nila eh. Lagi lang nakikita si Arthur sa live eh. So majority of people who buy these cars will sit in the back. Now, why is this car so special? This is, this is a car that has what we call the executive function, the executive trim. And you have controls here, and you also have a tablet that you could use so you can control the seats. Now, kung gusto mo siyang humiga, It will actually recline and if you want to bring it back to the regular function you just have to slide it back so this actually this car has 
all the features that you need to adjust your seats. You know? It even has the executive function, which I have no clue how to control. But anyway, the seat folds forward and you can actually recline like in those first class seats in the airplanes. So that's how luxurious these cars are. Now, let's put it back. The performance, like I said, it has 429 horsepower. So it has enough horsepower to handle whatever the car needs to do. Sitting in the back, guys, wala kayong mararamdaman. I mean, the outside is just another world. So it's so quiet. It's very, um, what should I say? The suspension is very active, at the same time very soft in terms of bounce. Um, the seats are very comfortable. I can see myself sitting in the back for the next six, seven hours with no problem, doing work. Wow. So the car responds. So classic S-Class, this car is capable of doing everything. One of the best features of this car too is, other than the fact that you have these noise-canceling Mercedes headphones, you have this huge storage space. So if you just wanna listen to music, is probably better than most headphones that we can find in the market today. So you also have your charging cradle here. Now here in the back you have a ski pass-through. So some of the countries that have ski resorts and stuff you can actually put the skis here. But uh, if you want to bring your car to when you're going to ski. So the car basically resembles a yacht. Ganun siya ka luxurious, ganun ka comfortable. It's not for the cheap minded. It's something that exudes a lot of class, but at the same time, it's very simple. Simple in terms of hindi siya ma-art is a design. If you look around the car, you have your dual moonroof, you have all the functions here that you need. You have pretty good sound system, but it's basically very plain comparing to other cars made in the UK, made in France, and, and all the other cars in terms of design. The Germans just focus on function. Form follows function. So one of the most reliable cars that I've probably owned before. Um, the S-Class is definitely the choice for a lot of executives and for a lot of big business owners and I would say more middle age and older demographics. So if you guys are looking for an amazing car, I think this is an awesome choice. But one of the things I would say is a lot of people talk about, you know, madaling masira yung sasakyan, you know, it's not very reliable, it's not very, uh, it's not very practical. When you get to, when you get to this level of purchasing cars, practicality is not something that you consider. Okay, you're looking for comfort, you're looking for exclusivity. But at the same time, for the people who actually complain that these cars are not reliable, you have to drive the cars. You have to bring it out. I have so many friends that have 10, 20, 30 cars in their garage that they forget to drive the cars. Ito mga kotse nito, pag hindi nyo na drive, ang daming nasisira. Okay? So, it's an amazing car, guys. This is how, this is how these cars are meant to be appreciated. Um, sitting in the back, even sitting in traffic, you have no problems. All right, guys, so this is the, again, the 2021 Mercedes-Benz 
S500. You guys saw how it's supposed to be driven. You guys are supposed to have seen what the car is capable of doing and what it's supposed to be for. So if you guys are looking for this amazing S-Class, we have it in stock, or I can refer you to the local dealer that has it. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. This is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. Again, this is the seventh generation, 2021 S500, the flagship of the Mercedes Mark. Thanks very much for watching.